Hello and welcome to TechPrain channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure VPC peering with MongoDB Atlas. So I'll be using a VPC in AWS and I'll be connecting from that VPC over to my Atlas cluster. So within that VPC in AWS, I'm running an EC2 instance. I'll have a Mongosh configured there. And the whole point of this video is to show you how you can actually implement these security controls. So this is uh, AWS, as you can clearly see. And within AWS, I have an EC2 instance. So the plan is that I install a Mongosh on my EC2 instance. And from this Mongosh, I can then connect to my Atlas cluster. So I do have a VPC that I have configured. So I'll click on that VPC. And currently I don't have any peering connections that are active. So I'll be setting up a peering connection. So first thing is I'll log into Atlas. So I'll go to cloud.mongodb.com. So once in Atlas, I go to network access. And in uh, this section, I go to the peering tab. So I'll be adding a peering connection. So I need to select the relevant cloud provider. As you can see, peering can be configured with GCP, Azure, as well as uh, AWS. So I'll click next. So I need to enter the details of my account ID. So I'll grab that information from uh, here. So that's my account ID. I'll paste that in. So I'm using the free tier, AWS free tier. So I need to also make sure that I get the VPC ID. So that's my VPC ID and also the VPC CIDR. Select that, click on this option here. So that's my IPv4 CIDR. So I'll then plug that in. So currently my VPC is in EU West 2. So I'll come back and I'll go to this section and select EU West 2. So your Atlas VPC, what is my Atlas VPC? So luckily for me, I had set this up to be in the same region as my application VPC. So I can leave that as it is. So I'll initiate peering. I'll select that option there. So Atlas begins orchestrating my changes and I will go back into AWS. So over in AWS, I can go to my uh, VPC and click on that. And just below there, there should be pairing connections. So there is this pairing connection that I've set up. If I look at the details for that pairing connection, I'll be able to identify that indeed it is coming from Atlas. So you might have noticed the request, the CIDR for Atlas was that. Okay, so let me accept that. So actions and then accept the request. So the request has been accepted. What next? I'd like to connect from my EC2 instance to my MongoDB Atlas cluster. So I'll go back into Atlas and I'll click connect. And that takes me to the shell option where I can copy the command to actually connect to my cluster, uh, which is this one. And I'll check to make sure that I have the Mongosh available, which looks like I do. And let's try connecting. So that's my password. Let me enter my password. So if I've got my setup correctly done, I should be able to connect. Otherwise, I'll get an authentication error. So that looks like uh, it's not going to get me very far. So what other setting do I need to have applied here? So it says Mongo server selection error. Please ensure that your network access list allows connections from your IP. Uh, that setting we do have, but there's one small detail that we've forgotten. There is an additional bit of configuration that I need to do. So I need to update 
what is essentially the root table. So I'll go to that section and make the relevant modification. So I'll add a root. What's the destination for this root? So that's the destination. And what's the target? What kind of target is it? It's a peering connection and head back here to complete my configuration. So I'll select that, save the changes. We can confirm that yes, indeed, I was able to connect. So there are advantages to having a VPC uh, peering. You can essentially restrict traffic to your MongoDB instance, but also you can reduce the data transfer costs. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe for more great content from the TechPrain channel. Bye now.